birthday, Haletta. A song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting Reckless But then you came along Not this so mistaken Bon appetit Not this <laughs> Yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby It's Sunday Time to reset <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Ladies.
Bubbles. We're going shopping today. Woo! This is my outfit. Um, I just got this hat from Urban Outfitters. And actually when I saw it online, it looked more of like a khaki color, like a beige tan. And so I was like really excited because I was looking for a beige LA Dodgers hat. And then it came in and it's actually like an olive color. Terrible. But I decided to wear it today and wear my camo pants because, you know, it's like green, green-ish, you know, similar vibe. And then I'm wearing a black um, knit sweater that I got from Shop Bop, I believe. And then on top I have my um, camel overcoat that I've had for years. And then I'm going to wear my white Air Force Ones. We're just going to go shopping today, see what's going on, you know. I changed my mind. Um, the hat wasn't really doing anything for me, so uh, I took it off. Good morning, everyone. So it's the next day. I didn't really vlog yesterday because I am realizing that I don't really like shopping and vlogging at the same time. Shopping on its own is very stressful, and so trying to bring vlogging into the mix is just not my favorite ordeal. Um, so we got a few things yesterday. Actually, the reason why we went shopping is because my mom wanted to go to Joe Malone because there was a perfume that was recommended to her. And so we wanted to go try it out. And so I was like, why not just make it a shopping day since we're going to Joe Malone anyway. So we got a few things, but first we're going, I'm going to show you what we got at Joe Malone. Oh, also yesterday I went to Majuri to get some jewelry, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So this is what we got from Joe Malone. I got a diffuser, but then I also got um, a full size version of that perfume that my mom got. I like it so much, I decided to get the full size version so that I can use it too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then we also got like a free little gift with this like little pouch. So we're gonna unbox it right now. Mama Jackson wants to unbox her perfume. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Um, I am at the Southern California Flower Market because I'm meeting up with my manager and my agents and we are going to shop for some flowers today or some plants. I don't know what I'm gonna get today, but we're gonna walk around. It's a really cool like um, place. So if you guys are in the LA area, um, you should come by one time.
Do you just mm -hmm. like bite into it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a gelatinous like outside, but just bite through it. It's like mochi. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. go for that. Oh, it's rice flour, huh? Uh -huh. I don't know what I was expecting, <laughs> but this is not it, but it's incredible. So good. Look at the shoes. We got a fashion show. Tway, what do you got on today? Bring them over here. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lauren, what we got? Come on. All right. The classic Doc Martens. And then what you got on? It's so different to have like That's true. not spicy food and then food you can't even feel your face. Period. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Really? Oh my god, they're so good. All right, y'all, so this is what I got. Um, I got two vases, and I also got this long one because I got these dried flowers. They're very long. <laughs> so I was thinking of putting it in this long uh, glass one and have it on the floor so it like looks really cool. And then I also got some lilies so i wanted to get ones that weren't fully open yet just because um lilies actually last pretty long they can last you like i don't know 10 days or like even longer depending on you know how um open they are so i got some lilies these were only nine dollars y'all gotta go to the um socal uh flower market nine dollars my body and mind are running 25 million miles an hour because of that Vietnamese coffee that I had. I don't drink coffee, I don't consume caffeine. So having that Vietnamese coffee on an empty stomach probably wasn't the best idea, but um, I'm kind of like all over the place right now. So that's why I'm acting crazy probably, yep. Hey everyone, I'm here at Hydrofacial, about to get a Hydrofacial with Monique. Hi! <laughs> really excited. This is like the first time I've ever gotten a facial like since the pandemic started, so I'm very excited. <laughs> and I've never gotten a Hydrofacial before. Can I just like lay down on here? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Well, what it does, it has a vortex. It has a vortex um, suction, mm -hmm. and with this little sp spiralized tip, it exfoliates, and then it pushes the product deep inside to flush out those pores. Oh. And it sucks it back up. Yeah, so we're doing exfoliation and infusion at the same time. Oh, very cool. And the first step is with an active ingredient of glutathione. Uh, we have alpha hydroxy acids in there, so it's really good to break everything down and keep everything balanced. Okay, so cool. <laughs> surprised how immediate these results were. I know, right? <laughs> Seriously. And just wait because it gets even better in the next few days. Oh, yay! Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> this lighting doesn't really do this justice, but like my skin has never looked like this after a facial before. Also, sorry for the noise. We're right by the Long Beach airport, so there's like planes flying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, my skin has never looked like this before. She said my skin um, surprisingly uh, responded really well to the treatment and I'm actually shocked by how well my skin responded to this. I think that this is the facial that I should be getting because 
My skin feels so balanced. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is it, This is like glass skin. Like this is what I try to achieve. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Wow. We're getting some family bracelets. So um, these two are mine. <laughs> and then this one's for my dad because he likes black. And then this one's for my mom and then for my brother. So we all have family bracelets. Cute. <laughs> oh, and then look at this, you guys. It's like a snake ring. Good morning. This is what we did with these long stemmed, um, like dried, whatever these are called. <laughs> so they're super long. I wanted to put them in like this really long vase. So it looks really cool right there. And now I'm going to make a smoothie. And hold on. I'll, I'll talk about this new jewelry that I got uh, after I make my smoothie, but oh, I'm so excited. All right, just filmed my smoothie. Um, you guys will see this video probably next week, but I'm finally sharing. I've been perfecting this recipe over the past um, few weeks, and I finally got it to where it the balance of the taste is perfect and it's so smooth. I, fi I think I finally perfected this recipe, so I'm finally gonna share it in a video, hopefully next week when I do, um, when I upload my what I eat in a day. Yay! Okay, now we're going to talk about my jewelry. So I went to Majuri a couple of days ago and I got some rings. Um, some of them, which I was very happy with. One of them I wasn't very happy with because it ended up being too matte. It wasn't as shiny as I remembered it being. Um, so I'm going to return that one actually. And I went to Makot Pitch yesterday in Long Beach since we were in the area because the facial, the hydrofacial that I got was in Long Beach. So I was like, let me go visit my favorite people. Let's see what they got down there. So um, I actually got this ring instead. It's very similar. It's still a snake, um, but as you can see, it just looks way better than the other one. The other one is so like matte and it looks cheap. Like it doesn't look like real gold and that ring is solid gold. This one looks way more expensive and the price difference wasn't really that much different. This has diamonds in it, <laughs> and the other one didn't have any gems in it. So I was like, why did I pay that much money for that when I could have gotten this and it has diamonds in it? I don't know. This ring is from Majuri. It's just, you know, a regular like gold um, dome ring. This one, like the croissant dome ring. So I just got these at Majuri. And then I also got these two at Majuri. It's like a two dainty stackable rings. So I got this one, it had like a small diamond right here. And then this one um, is like flat and it has some jewels going around um, the front half of the ring here. So um, I'm really happy with this stack that I created. I love like typing and like going on my phone and stuff. <laughs> but I also got some, some bracelets for all of my family members. This was actually my mom's idea. She was like, we should get like a family she, she wanted to get something that like all of us could have. And I was like, what about a bracelet? Because my brother doesn't like wearing rings. My brother and my dad don't like wearing necklace necklaces. So we were like, maybe bracelets. Cause my, my dad wears a watch. My brother wears a watch and he has like some like bracelets of his own that he uses. So I was like, maybe we'll just get bracelets. So I decided to get us all bracelets. Um, so we all got ones that have like this little dragon on it. This is gold plated, so it wasn't it wasn't that expensive. Like if this was real gold, this would have easily been like, I don't know, like a thousand dollars. So this was not nearly as expensive. This, so it's only gold plated. And um, I got one of these for each of my family members. My I got my dad a black one. My mom and my brother got tiger eye. So it's like a nice, really like brown color. And then I got like a jade one. It's funny because my mom, when I was looking at this, my mom was like, you should get this one because you're not Asian if you don't have jade. And I was like, not the gatekeeping of Asianness from my own mother. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, I'm not being serious. <laughs> but yeah, I've really been loving green lately. I used to hate green, but now I'm like seeing it more and more. I think it's because I've been getting more plants in my house. I'm very, I'm getting very acclimated to the color green. It just is like a really fresh color. And you know, jade is good luck. So 
But anyway, <laughs> I also got um, this little uh, pendant. They actually just got these in. You guys have to visit. If you're in the LA area, go visit McCott Pitch, I'm telling you. But um, I got my Zodiac sign on Mother of Pearl and then they framed it with gold. It looks really, really nice. And then I got a longer chain so that it stacks with my current necklaces like really nice. It, it looks really, really nice. I'm a Gemini, so I got the twins. And yeah, that's uh, all the jewelry that I got. Uh, within this past week. This is actually my first time buying my own rings. Like all of the rings, except for one that I own or that I have wear, I've worn in the past, you know, however many years I've been making YouTube videos, I've stolen all of those from my mom. <laughs> like I would literally go through her, her jewelry box and be like, oh, I like this, can I have it? And she'd be like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> So um, it feels really good to have my own rings now. And also I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram, but I feel like when you're younger, you're so used to receiving all the time. So it feels really awesome to be in a position where now I'm able to be the one to give gifts and pay for meals and things like that. It's just like the most wonderful feeling ever. My family has sacrificed so much for me um, growing up. Like they really supported everything I wanted to do. They paid for like my dance classes if I wanted to take dance. They paid for my martial arts if I wanted to take martial arts. Like they really supported me in everything that I wanted to do. You know, when I wanted to build a computer in high school, like my dad bought me all the parts. Like they just really supported what, they, they supported the vision. <laughs> They really supported me in everything that I wanted to do. So um, I feel like this doesn't even compare to like how much I have been supported when I was younger. So I just feel really like happy to, you know, be like paying for their meals and like giving them gifts and things like that. It just feels really good to, you know, give back to my family. Oh, I got a few things from the mall. I'm going to show you what I got. All right, so I went to Koss, and this was actually my first time going into that store. And I was actually really surprised. I've always been intimidated going into that store because I, it looks expensive. And so I was like, oh, I don't wanna go in there because I don't wanna look at the prices. But I finally decided to walk in there and their prices aren't really that bad. Like it's not like cheap, but their prices are like very similar to Aritzia and I shop at Aritzia all the time. So I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, I was just intimidated for really no reason at all. Um, but I got these really cool pleated um, trousers. And this is like a really nice, like beautiful yellow kind of mustard color almost. I got this cardigan. It's made really, really well. I love the way that it's made. So it's just like a simple beige cardigan. And then I went to All Saints and I got another leather jacket, like a moto jacket, because the one that I have, I have another one that's also from All Saints, but um, that one is too, it fits really weird on my body specifically. I didn't like how cropped it was because it made it, wearing t-shirts underneath it look weird because it would be cropped and then the t-shirt would hang and like go out like that at the bottom. It just looked really weird and I didn't wear it very often for that exact reason. So I decided to get a leather jacket that I would actually wear. And so um, I went back to All Saints. This is actually a men's jacket. I just got in an extra small because um, the women's jackets, all of them were like really tight fitting and uh, like cropped. And so I really wanted one that was like a bit of an oversized fit so let me try this on so you guys can see what it looks like yep so as you can see it just fits better and i feel like because i have broad shoulders um that's a very that creates like a very masculine silhouette having broad shoulders so i feel like i look really good in men's clothing because i have broad shoulders so um decided to get a, a men's jacket and i love the way that it fits on my body but I, all right, y'all, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because uh, I want this video to go up today. <laughs> the video did not go up that day. So I'm going to uh, edit it right now. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to live an intentional, beautiful, and joyful life. I'll catch you guys next time. Nope. Peace.